Spokane story time. Let's learn about the U.S. Pavilion. Did you know what a pavilion even is? The pavilions were like buildings or areas for each individual country that was there to participate in the Expo 74. So when you'd walk into all the different expos, it was like walking into that country. So you'd be able to taste their food, listen to their music, and kind of experience their culture. The U.S. Pavilion was just the largest and the most expensive pavilion built because it was funded by the U.S. government. So the only buildings left that are still pavilions from the original Expo 74 is the U.S. Pavilion and the Louvre Carousel. It was actually the German pavilion, which you could go and have German beer and bratwurst and listen to German music. Expo 74 went on for six months and the pavilion workers, they would work six or seven days a week with no time off in between. They built different areas of Spokane out for these pavilion workers to live. And the best example of that is the campground at Liberty Lake was actually built for an entire community of people from another country so that they could come to Expo 74 and work. A lot of people don't realize how big of an impact Expo 74 had on our city because this entire area down by the falls was just a big, huge railroad uh, construction and industrial area. And so for them to turn it into a park, it basically revolutionized the city and makes Spokane what it is today. Now when you visit the U.S. Pavilion, you got lots of facts that nobody cares about.